In this video we've got the MacBook Air late 2010 in which I've uh, installed macOS Big Sur. Well natively that's not possible since because this uh, MacBook Air goes up to High Sierra but with uh, OpenCore Legacy Patcher we are able to um, send uh, this old device up to Big Sur, Monterey, and so on. I decided to install Big Sur on this because uh, the, because this device is low on specs and uh, particularly lo uh, low um, in terms of RAM. As you can see, it is a, a 13 inch late 2010 MacBook Air 1.86 GHz Intercore 2 Duo with uh, two gigabytes of ram and the fact that this one is a two gigabyte only ram it's a pain for the device i just wanted to actually uh, make this project just to see whether the device will be able to handle the uh, mac os pixar and now after two three four tries uh, I've got the uh, installation and uh, I would say mm, it is okay if uh, you've got patience like for example if I uh, open Firefox for example I clicked it the, the Firefox uh, logo here bounces and uh, it takes time to actually load the page so now as you can see well i'm not saying as a default as of right now say if i want to go to the apple website you see it's taking a few seconds i mean i would say just for the sake of uh giving a bit of uh a bit more life on the this old device yes it is worth it just because this particular one has two gigs of ram it is uh, painful but uh, the website uh, loads completely uh, and yeah I mean I tried once to actually run what was the game uh, asphalt 9 never opened like literally never uh, but if you've got same model like MacBook Air late 2010 with 4 gigs of RAM that will perform better compared to this because yeah this uh, particular model uh, was uh, released with two different configurations one was 2 gigs of RAM and the other one was uh, 4 the sad part of uh, this MacBook Air is the fact that uh, the RAM <coughs> is uh, soldered, so unfortunately you cannot upgrade the RAM. Um, so let's say we opened uh, the up, um, Apple website there. Let's try and uh, search and go to Samsung website just to see if that if this device will handle it again slow but I mean if you've got a particular something like this this kind of uh, old device with uh, low specs and you still want to use it from time to time for casual browsing um, watching YouTube videos and so on yeah it is okay but again don't expect uh, snappy results <laughs> like uh, if i if i can compare this one with the, with the other video that i made um, about the macbook pro mid 2012 the macbook pro mid 2012 performs way better and uh, Performs, that performs really better because 
uh, the processor is different, it's way more powerful and uh, the RAM on that is 16 gigs so obviously it would uh, perform better uh, now we've got two uh, tabs open side by side they will they work fine all right so let's go and open a third one and let's do YouTube because don't expect uh, to do video editing on this old device or I don't know coding now it will it will not be a pleasant uh, journey so like let's say if we load this one So as you can see, it is a bit like the hiccups here and there, but it is doable. Yeah, just for the sake of a project, it is doable. Like the video, yeah, I've muted uh, the sound just for uh, copyright purposes. Uh, okay, it will play. As you can see it is slow takes its sweet time to actually load and uh, the video quality it is not good until the actual device the laptop is like okay hold on we, we run a YouTube video in full screen so let me adjust the resolution but again it works just fine so um, all these hiccups yeah make sense because we're trying to run we're running actually a Mac OS version of that was never supposed to be run on this type of device but again that is uh, thanks to open core reg legacy patcher and uh, of course if you've got a macbook that uh, ranges from 2008 until 2017 check out the official website of open core legacy patcher and see if your device uh, is supported by that website in order to install um, a mac os that wasn't supposed to run on your device it's great the fact that uh, these guys behind the open core legacy patcher they, they found a way to actually make the, these old devices in a way new again because from personal perspective I'm so happy that my uh, mid-2012 MacBook Pro runs macOS Sonoma and uh, that has made that 12 year old device my main, my daily driver. Before that I used to, um, uh, I used to, um, <coughs> I used to use the Lenovo laptop that, uh, that I have. And now I left that on the side and I'm using the MacBook uh, Pro 2012. So yeah, um, if uh, you would uh, go through the path of uh, installing macOS and, sub uh, and non support macOS through Open Core Legacy Patch, just make sure that once the installation is done, you run uh, the post installation uh, root patch just so uh, your uh, device will not run into any issues after the installation so yeah i would say it is worth doing that just to try and see if uh, your old mac can actually live slightly longer because yeah this macbook air it's 2010 model 
it's been 14 years since they released it and yeah okay it's supported uh unofficially it's supported by a mac os version that i think apple now either they have stopped the support completely or they just release uh, security patches and actually if i do software update on this now most likely it will say that um it doesn't have any software update available or anything just let's see so it's like i'm clicking on it but it does nothing so anyway ah oh, checking for updates okay when uh, uh, i managed to install it it probably it popped up um, a software update well it wasn't really a, a software update it was just a security patch for uh, safari which actually i don't use i i prefer using uh, firefox but yeah now this one is checking for updates most likely will not find anything and yeah as you would expect from a device that has two gigs of ram with uh, every click, almost every click, the fans, the, the fan, it's a single fan, kicks in and sometimes it's like, sounds so bad, like it, you think that it will actually take off. So yeah, this one says that it is up to date and yeah, okay, let's see how long this one will, uh, will last. Right, so that's it for this video guys. Again, if you've got an old uh, MacBook, as that either that is MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, you name it, give it a go with uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher, and uh, who knows, you might be surprised that uh, your old device still has uh, life in it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.